Alright, today I'll be showing you how to root um, and install Gingerbread 2.3.3 for your Kobe Kairos device. Um, so, first thing you want to do is make your way to my website and go to the forums. The link to my website will be in the description. And uh, I'm doing most of this in real time, but uh, some of this I will be skipping, you know, boring parts that take long. It's alright. Uh, the, the, those are just parts I'm confident there won't be any problems. So go ahead and uh, click the forum discussion how to install GBOS 2.3.3 on Kairos. And click the following link. Yes, you guys are welcome to add in any questions in the forums uh, or add in your own topics, of course. Uh, top, the creating new topics, of course, is only available to members. Okay, um, first things first, you're going to want to create an account with KTC, Kairos Tablet Zone Forum. They're the people that provide the OEM image, the boot image for the gingerbread. Um, I do not uh, have permission to distribute it myself, so you need to get that there. But it's a great forum, and if you need any help, they're also very great to ask. But feel free to post anything in this forum as well. Um, and here I have the link to where you can download it. Now, you guys can go ahead and pause this as you get that done, but uh, let's continue. Once you're finished, we're going to go to step one. Simply copy the FWDN folder to your desktop. I have done so right over here on the edge where I can see it. Um, then you want to copy the GBOS folder, which will look like this. Sorry, yes, I know I'm using XP. Uh, my newer computer is still not completely built so just waiting for a couple parts to come in anyways uh, this folder in here this is the entire boot image you want to copy that into a folder I named my folder temp for temporary that's fine you don't have to but it's easier that way now uh, once you do that before you move on to step 3 boot up your device and when you turn it on make sure you hold down the home button FWDN mode alright and go ahead and click start you'll get a little box and if you have any errors just um, disconnect your device connect it again and click start don't worry it should work I'm confident in that one alright now once that's finished you should be good to go and um, now you reboot your Kairos device. You should have the image already installed and then we want to put in all your little updates and tweaks. So step four, you're gonna connect your device to the computer. And the drop down notification bar, let me go ahead and show you. Over here, you drop down this little notification bar and you connect it it'll say that you have drivers and such things you want to go ahead and click USB connected right here and then you will turn on your USB storage it will have these automatic things if your computer set that way etc etc and you should be good to go if it prompts you whether you want to um, turn on USB mass storage uh, click OK. Mine didn't prompt me this time, but uh, usually it does. And that's fine. Then, once you have that done, you go over to Step 4 folder. You copy all these files into your device. So, let me just do this one step to just to show you guys how it works. So, um, for example, mine is H, but you go into your NAND root, not your SD card, your NAND root. Right here in this same folder, you copy. You shouldn't have that problem. I already have these files in here, that's why. And then you will click Apply Step. 
number four. And on the uh, the other scripts will say something like this: press any key to continue. Go ahead and do that. That's completely normal. Once that's finished, you should be rooted. Um. All right. Now it seems to be the same exact process for step five, step six, step seven, step eight. All right. That's pretty much simple. And for step nine, if you do not have an SD card, I'll show you. It's boost SD card speed mod. This is only so that your SD card is read faster. If you do not have an SD card, you don't need this step, and neither would you be able to do this step. And let's continue step 10. Now this is exactly like all the other steps we just finished. This one will, uh, th this uses pest add blocker. You just run the script and when you get on the market download ad free to keep up with that file ad free is just a simple app that uh, it'll be really good um, I, I recommend it uh, step 11 you're going to uh, go into this folder and you take you go in here where it says install this file manually etc you copy this and you put this in your NAND root or anywhere where you're gonna find it maybe your SD card if you want to as long as you can find it keep that there and um, then go here this uh, this file and all these other files will be the same it doesn't matter he just puts more copies to make it simpler but you put one in your SD card root your NAND root and if you go in your NAND root let me show you you put a third one in your T flash folder it should be somewhere here on your NAND root let me find it right here and as you can see I have my set CPU folder or file and then this is a simple image on how to configure it now I personally had issues with this app not working correctly but there are other apps that work just as well for root access but uh, this should work well for you guys if otherwise if it doesn't allow you to I do believe it's something called CPU boost you can set the same settings set on boot uh, scaling performance and the max and the minimum the minimum will be a little bit different don't go higher than what it says here I don't recommend that you might overheat you don't want that for your device of course and um, now we're on to step 12 where uh, step 12 is very simple the same as the other steps this is the honey green mod yes you can also do the honeycomb mod I do recommend you use the honeycomb mod, but the honey green mod, you also need to install that first. Those mod, uh, the honeycomb mod does not have uh, what the honey green mod has. The honeycomb mod was just a secondary patch to follow with this one. Make sure you use that. Um, we're basically done here. I know that was quick, but uh, like I said, it was very simple. And if you had any issues, my um, my uh, text tutorial is very thorough. Now, uh, just uh, thank you for watching. And uh, keep in mind, in the members-only downloads, I have plenty of free apps. I'll let you check those out.